But we pray that you begin to break down ideologies that stand against you, but we ask you, Father, to reach in the heart of the men and women, to bring in salvation, but we pray out salvation to bring us from the ground in Los Angeles. We pray out for our brothers and our sisters, our mom, our dad, our grandpa, our dad. We ask you to hear the prayers of the saints in Los Angeles and break out the body of Jesus' name. As the church and all down for the church, Lord, we ask you Lord, that you would dismantle every ideology and every thought that sets itself up against the knowledge of who you are. Lord, in our theology and our experience, Lord, we want everything down yeah. that you would be exalted. Yeah. In our thoughts and our hearts and in the most part. So Lord, as the church is for the church, we pray, Lord, bring it down, Lord, that you would be exalted. That you would be exalted and you would draw all men unto yourself. Walking, and I thank you, Jesus, that we are your walking grace on earth. 
Jesus' name. I want to pray that God, you would come with such love, such power that you begin to liberate the captives to this sexual, demonic powers over our culture. You would come with a fire that's stronger than the fires of us. I'm asking for a hundred thousand gay and lesbian men and women to be saved and transformed by the power of God. We're asking for men and women of God are wrestling in their own souls, God. With addictions, we cry out for the coming of fire. So strong, a seal the soul of Solomon. A seal that's stronger than death with the very flame of God. Lord, come with fire. Come with the jealousy that you never see, God. Come, Lord, we've known the rains, we've known the wine. We send the fire of love. It begins to burn out, God. It begins to cleanse deeply. We're asking for a deep movement of revival that cleanses the fire to the core. John said that when you come, he will baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. Oh, loose another baptism of the Holy Spirit that's beyond anything we've known. Oh, Los Angeles, you know the flaming tongue. Do it again, God. Do it again. Just bring before you the 11,000 children in the foster care system come on, here in LA County, God. We ask that you would come, that you would extend your hand, God, that you would come and strengthen your church, God, that you would come and you would bring them into our families, God, that they would be fostered, they would be adopted, that they would be loved and delivered, God, that you would change their names, God, that there would not be one left, God, in this system, there would not be one left as an orphan, God, that you would come, that you would gather the lonely and the broken here. You would deliver them. You would make them your messengers, God, in Jesus' name. Father, I want to pray for the Hispanics in California. God said he take them prophesied that California would be a pro-life state. The only way that would happen is a massive uprising among the Catholics in this state. We pray for the Hispanic Catholics, God. Lord, you pour out your spirit in the Catholic Church in California, everywhere, God. You would visit the Catholics with this Pope, this new Pope. Let's fill with God from the head. Loose your spirit, God. Oh, come on, man. a million Hispanics coming to Christ. We ask for a million Hispanics to come to Christ. This year in California, we pray in Jesus' name. I was driving in Hollywood one day, and I smelled bleach. I, I smelled bleach. And I just a thought, I was like, what is that? And I heard God say clearly, I'm going to purify this city. Come on. I'm going to cleanse it. When I'm done, it will be white. So God, I pray God, that you would cleanse LA, cleanse Hollywood, that it would be white and you'd you be done with it. God, that you would purify the streets, to purify the minds and the hearts of the people, the lost and the broken, the addicted, the homosexuals. I pray, Lord, that you would bring your freedom and you would purify the hearts, God. Their eyes, their eyes would be awakened and opened. Amen. Lord, I just thank you, God, that you're preparing the hearts of the church for the harvest of this to come, God. Lord, even now, it's different. It's those of us go through different trials and tribulations, God, that you are softening the heart, God, that you are taking out hearts of stones, that you are putting in hearts of flesh that bear yes. your own, God. I thank you that you're giving us hearts that can embrace the church to come, the bride to come, that can embrace each other, that can embrace ourselves, God, that can love as you love, God. You are preparing us, you're preparing our hearts. Even now, God, you prepare our hearts for the church. You prepare our hearts for the harvest to come, God. You prepare our hearts, God, to embrace and to love as you love. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your anointing. And for, thank you for this unity, Father God. Your word says that the prayer of faith and the prayer of agreement yeah. can shake mountains, Lord. Yeah. We just had a spiritual earthquake right now, Father ah. God. In Pasadena, starting from Mount Auditorium. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You are enlarging this territory, Lord. You are enlarging this territory, Lord. You are giving up high hub and, uh, and follow, Father God, so they can be uh, more uh, equipped and armed, Lord, to go and send them out, Lord, to by to the way you sent uh, your disciples. 
two by two, Lord, to rise their territory, Father God. Our fight is not against flesh and blood. Our fight against the spiritual uh, uh, or uh, uh, unclean spirits, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to be sending you our Archangel Michael, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for sending you Archangel Michael, Lord. They're going to oh. be fighting, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for your seven spirit, Lord, that you have poured out tonight, Lord. You have anointed each one of them, Father God. The Pentecost is very close, Lord. This is the Pentecost, Lord. This is like the upper room, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to pour out more of your seven spirit, more of your seven spirit upon this place, upon us of prayer, upon Pasadena, California, upon the whole globe, Father God, from the north to south, from east to west, Father God. Thank you, Lord. We declare anything that no one performs against shall prosper, Father God. And every time that is against us, it shall be shut them down. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That we have one spiritually. There is a big spiritual earthquake. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It just happened. We receive it by faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch out your hand. So I want to pray for the Armenian community. It's all come on, all around this place. Can we lift our voices together? Let's pray for an outpouring of the Spirit in this Armenian neighborhood all around this place. This going to be singing in the streets. The revival is breaking out. God, the God is asking for this very neighborhood to be filled with dreams and visions and young, angry kids with being saved. God, loose evangelism. Release your glory in this place and people will come and be filled with your glory, we ask. For a revival to break out the Armenian community in Pasadena and Glendale. All over this area we pray in Jesus' name. Some others just pray over that. Father, I ask for even her sons, God, that you would come into the kingdom or those that she's been praying for for years. God, I pray for a revelation of the name of Christ Jesus. God, that even in the high schools, God, the college campuses, Father, let your fire come on the Armenian community, God. I pray that your love would outpour in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for so many. Just to her stand in the midst of the Armenian neighborhood. God, the dream that you gave to her, the encounter of the, uh, the angels and speaking to her and giving her a scroll. God, we just say wow. yes and amen. Yes and yeah. amen. For a Daniel moment, Lord, for even for her home country, God, that you would break in, Lord, that they would have encounters with you. Yes. Yes. God, we pray for reconciliation in hearts, God. I pray that you would release forgiveness in the Armenian's yes. hearts. God, we pray for an outpouring of love to fill them in Jesus' name. Yeah, we pray for the Armenian men. We ask for dreams and visions. God, fill their eyes with visions and dreams. We pray just even what happened for the full gospel businessmen. God, come upon Armenian businessmen. We ask for dreams from heaven, God. We pray for vision straight from you in Jesus' name. And God, I just pray for Michael, our many of we met yesterday, Lord, and just pray for this community, God, for unity among the Albanians and in Kosovo and Georgia and the whole region of the world, God. And we just thank you that this lady, Jesus, is like a, a firebrand plucked from the fire, Jesus, that through her, through her prayers, God, through her intercession, Jesus, that you're going to break forth revival in her country, God, that's like a spark, and when it goes out of her mouth, God, it sets the, the whole nation ablaze, God. We thank you for receptive hearts, God, to your word, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray you'd stretch up your rod over the Armenian community, and you would save our, our sister, uh, the trouble of uh, a long wait against those powers and principalities, but that they would be uh, blasted out. Lord, I thank you that Armenia was one of the first countries, it was the first country to accept Christianity as a nation. And God, I thank you, Father God, that even then, before it was wiped off the map and then brought back again, that Father God, that you would prepare the hearts for such a hunger for the true and living God, that Father, you would unlock their minds of not just religion, but Father God, open their hearts to relationship with you, Jesus. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for Sona, Father God. I thank you for her heart to love and to serve. Father God, I stand with her as an Armenian by marriage, Father. Father, and I say in the mighty name of Jesus, we call forth in revival in Armenia, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for these people are 
chosen of you, Father God. We are chosen, Father God. We worship you and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, for the fire. 